In today's news, Lexus hits a massive sales milestone. Toyota is helping build a personal air taxi. The 400Z is delayed and Acura is ramping up production for the upcoming TLX. That's a lot today. <laughs> Welcome back Luxurious Fleet. I cover Japanese and Korean autos, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming news and reviews. Over at the European Lexus newsroom, Lexus delivers its 5 millionth luxury SUV. Now, they started selling SUVs back in 1996 with the LX450. <laughs> if you saw my recent post uh, last weekend, you saw that army green conversion of the LX450. In 98, Lexus pioneered the first luxury crossover, of course, with the RX 300. The global lineup includes six SUVs, UX, NX, RX, RXL. Is RXL really its own model? I, I guess, I guess. GX and LX. Now, this is always so surprising since I live in the States, but Lexus hybrid drive trains power 96% of all Lexus SUVs sold in Western Europe. And lastly, the lineup will grow further in 2020. Not here in America. Nope, we don't, we don't get the fun stuff with the electric UX 300E. Now, Lexus has been the front runner in terms of SUVs for luxury brands. I'm sure others are starting to catch up in terms of volume sold, uh, but five millions, no joke. I still see, actually I saw one of these this weekend, guys, when I was uh, hanging out with some friends. I saw several of these RX 300s. They're still out there. They still run like tops. It's crazy. This is one of the best SUVs Lexus ever built. Uh, my favorite Lexus SUV is probably the LX 470. I think it's just a, a, just a beast. Speaking of reliability, Lexus named Britain's most reliable auto brand in which car reliability survey. Now we don't have which car here in the States, but yeah, I, I guess I just wanted to talk about this just briefly. Does it really come as a surprise to most of us? No, it doesn't really come as a surprise, but, and I've heard stories of the media being very, very biased against Japanese cars in the European area. Well, it looks like which car seems to be pretty honest when it comes to reliability because yeah, we know here in the States, Lexus is, is always up there in terms of reliability, dependability, customer satisfaction, etc. They're just kind of boring. Just that's okay. That's okay. You can be a little boring. Over at Engadget, watch a Toyota backed flying car's first public piloted test flight. And this is called SkyDrive and has edged one step closer to a flying taxi service. I don't know, guys. I feel like I would kill myself in this thing, but that's probably the future. We're going to be seeing these things in the next 10, 20 years but they think they're gonna see it even sooner. They've been working on this thing for many years to get to this point. And they call this model the SD03. And this is of course around the Toyota test field in Toyota City. And it's not autonomous, of course, you need a pilot, but the SD03 is billed as the smallest electric VTOL, which stands for vertical takeoff and landing vehicle in the world. And it's meant to usher in new means of transportation for urban life. It has a total of eight rotors that help it fly safely even if there's a motor failure. Now they're hoping for test flights to end in 2020, expects a two seat commercial machine by 2023. And that lines up with Japan's timeline for a flying taxi service. I mean, we've all dreamt of flying cars. This is probably what it's gonna look like. Definitely not a Jetson sort of technology or stuff that we saw in you know, Star Wars. Now I can only imagine what something like that is gonna cost. Let's say if they can come out with a commercial product in three or four years from now, I have no idea, I have no idea. Under a hundred thousand, maybe? It's like at what point are you, if you're a taxi service, Unless you're getting all sorts of governmental credits to stay profitable, like how are you going to be able to stay, like pay off that vehicle? It'll be very, very interesting to see how this works. And it's like, how in the frick you had, do you have to have a pilot's license just to be the next flying Uber taxi? I don't know. Like, I know it's the future, but I don't see this happening in three to five years. I feel like there's way too many variables here uh to keep it from getting off the ground get it get it over at car advice in australia nissan 400z delayed to 2023 but look at that render guys holy cow that orange peel orange maybe it's more of an orange juice orange but yeah it looks just like the render we saw from that nissan next announcement 
And I love these rear, rear tail lights. They look more of a throwback to the 300ZX. Oh, so they're they're thinking 2022 for the unveiling and 2023 for an on sale date. Though it's a 2023 model year, possibly a 2024 model year. So everyone's reporting the Turbo V6, or I would say the twin Turbo V6 that we see in the Q50 uh, Redline or the Red Sport, and then the Q60 Red Sport, and it has been backburned while. The company focuses on refreshing the SUV lineup and introducing more electric vehicles. That does make sense. That's where the money is. Money's not in coupes. They just get people really excited about the brand. Now this article doesn't talk about the possibility of hybridization of this, and it sounds like it's going to happen, but maybe not at launch. So yeah, don't worry. The twin turbo V6, the 400 horsepower variant, 400 pound feet of torque is going to be launching with this vehicle more than likely. Nothing's confirmed. God willing, they keep a six-speed manual in there. That's what people want, or at least all, the, the majority of people, because I pulled you guys on the Supra manual transmission. A lot of you guys really wanted that Supra manual transmission, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would think the same with this 400Z. Now, I, have had, I did have someone on my channel comment recently, and they'll be like, yeah, and they also need to have the 300 horsepower variant, which makes sense to compete with the 255 horsepower Supra. And he's like, oh yeah, they also should have a naturally aspirated entry level version of this car that's highly tunable. I'm like, that makes a lot of sense too. A lot of people like naturally aspirated and they like to steer away from turbos if they can. So yeah, that'd be like hearkening back to the, like the 240SXs or the 180SX of old. Um, not really Z cars in a sense, but close enough, right? And lastly, over at the Acura Press Room, production of all new Acura TLX Sport sedans begin in Ohio. Go America. And this is in the Maryville plant in Ohio. And we know the TLX is going to be available for sale on September 28th with the opening retail price MSRP of 37.5. They're making the new engines a two liter uh, turbo four and then the three liter turbo six in Ohio as well in the Anum engine plant. And we got some new information here on how the car is built. So the 2021 TLX is also the first Acura model to feature a laser brazed roof. This new process joins the roof to the body side panels, creating a clean seamless exterior appearance with no need for a garnish over the ring channels. So it's something they're proud of and it helps form the rigidity of this vehicle. So yeah, I can't wait to bring you guys my impressions on the vehicle. I don't know when I'll be able to get my hands on it. I've heard that earliest press availability to my knowledge is going to be in October. So just a month, or just the month following September, which is that's when it's available late September. I will eventually get my hands on it. I just don't know exactly when and I'm sure these cars are gonna be passed around and I'm sure I'm not the highest person on their list for reviews at this point. I'm, I'm a baby, I'm still baby guys. And I thank you for supporting me. That's all the news I have today. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't. And yeah, the channel's just continuing to grow, continuing to blossom. And I have to thank you guys, the luxurious fleet for making that happen. And yeah, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and peace out.